hello everyone welcome to technical voice so in the last video we have seen that how to build a docker image and deploy onto azure container registry through our pipelines so so far our pipeline the build pipeline is using the microsoft hosted agent okay now we will see that how we can use our own machine to build the project or we can say that how to register or use the self-hosted agent so if I navigate to uh, my project and go to project settings click on agent pools and as your pipelines and if you click on the agents you can see that this is the hosted agent or whenever you build the pipeline uh, it actually assign a machine a Microsoft hosted machine to our pipeline to build our project okay so as you remember that uh, if I go to my pipelines and if I edit it you can see that uh, actually this one the old one let me go to the other one this one yeah you can see that we are giving that we need to use the Ubuntu latest for this machine to build our project okay so uh, now we will see that how we can use our self hosted machine to build our project so first of all we need some machine okay it could be on your own premises or it could be on any virtual machine for example on Azure on AWS on Google Cloud Platform wherever you have some machine you can use it as a self-hosted machine okay so uh, for this I'm going to create a virtual machine on Azure portal okay and then we will install the required tools uh, on that particular machine to build our project okay so let's navigate to your portal click on virtual machine create as your virtual machine so select your uh, resource group I have already in place virtual machine name let's say VM agent I need to select the region uh, let me select Asia and I don't need any availability option and let's see all the images let's select the Windows server and uh, let's select this one you can select uh, whatever you want okay so you can see there is all all the images available and uh, actually we can select other one as well the Windows Server 2019 if it is available yeah this one okay and then you need to select the username let me say technical voice technical voice and then select the password and go to the next 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 leave as it is everything and review oops something is failing what is it okay
now let me create it okay so our machine is ready let's go to the resource so let's connect to this uh, virtual machine so let me open the remote desktop enter this IP connect uh, give the username and password okay so it's connected successfully so meanwhile uh, it is uh, configuring for the first time because we just uh, log in into the windows server first time so the virtual machine is ready uh, we will deploy this machine uh, for the uh, you know to build our project so in order to build the projects we need some tools for example our project is that we were using uh, throughout uh, in the previous videos is ASP.NET 6 it's uh, built on the you know .NET 6 framework so we need to install .NET 6 SDK on this machine also you know we need to pull the project for this we are using the Azure DevOps uh, and uh, for this we can we need to install the gate on this machine so we need two tools the number one git and the dotnet 6 framework should be installed on this machine so otherwise our project will not be able to build on this machine okay so in order to do this uh, let's uh, download the things so for this uh, whenever you use the windows uh, virtual machine using the azure you need to enable some uh, you need to disable actually some configuration to download the things so for this go to your local server and disable the enhanced security configuration okay so uh, the security configuration is off now let's install the tools let me install the chrome first Also launch the single data. Okay. So let's install the kit first. Kit for Windows. Four kit window setups. Open. Next, next. So the installation is pretty. 
uh, straight forward and also install the don dot net 6 framework because our project is built on dot net 6 framework dot net 6 download It's SCK finish cancel. Mm -hmm. So for Windows sixty four, let's install the SDK. Install. So we have installed the gate, uh, and also the dot SDK is now installed on this machine. So that's it uh, for this video. Uh, we have created the virtual machine we have installed the required tools now in the next video we will see that how we can register our agent in the uh, Azure DevOps portal thanks bye bye